today's video is going to be a chatty get ready with me. I'm gonna be doing this look that you see right here on my face. And I've got some new products from Sephora to play around with. And I'm gonna be basically just updating you on what's been going on in my life since we last spoke. So if you wanna see how to get this look and hear some updates and news, then just keep watching. It's been a while since I've sat down and talked in front of the camera. Glad to be back. Today I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna go for like a brown smoky eye. And these are pretty much all new products to me. I just went to Sephora, did the VIB Rouge sale, and I've got some new things to test out. So really excited about that. I guess I'll get into the life update, but first I'm going to prime my face using the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. This is not new but I'm gonna add a couple drops of the Algenist Reveal Concentrated Luminizing Drops. These are kind of, I think, similar, going to be similar to the Cover FX Illuminating Drops, so we will give this a try. And this is like the tiny version. This came with this pink shade, and also it came with a gold kind of yellowy shade in one little mini kit. So I'm just gonna mix this together and use that as my primer. So yes, life update. Um, October, I didn't get as much filming in as I wanted to. I had originally planned to do Vlogtober, but I ended up being really busy and I wouldn't have been able to make quality vlogs every day. So I decided at the last minute, like literally the day before, that I wasn't gonna be able to do it. Um, so I'm sorry about that if you were looking forward to Vlogtober but I will be doing Vlogmas, so you have that to look forward to. I'm gonna be back in Connecticut with my family for basically the whole month of December, so I'll be daily vlogging there, lots of fun Christmas activities or holiday activities if you don't celebrate Christmas, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to that actually. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, so far so good with the Algenist, Algenist Reveal Drops. I don't have anything new for brows, so I'm gonna use my Viseart Neutral Palette, and right now this is my favorite shadow for brows. It's kind of an ashy brown. So yes, October was a busy month. October is my birthday month, so I had a lovely birthday. I also have been doing a lot of photo shoots for work. I haven't really talked about this on my channel before, but my job is modeling so i do a lot of e-commerce fashion type modeling so it's been good to be getting a lot of work but it doesn't leave as much time for filming which is very sad all right i also have a new brow gel this is the givenchy mr brow groom i heard about this from kathleen lights and she said it was like a really strong holding brow gel, which is exactly what I need for my rather unruly brows. So I got this from Sephora and I've already tried it. This is not quite a first impression and I really do like it. It definitely is one of those brow gels that feels pretty like stiff when you put it on and uh, it definitely kind of like hardens onto your face. But if you want brows that really stay in place, you kind of need to deal with that effect so so yeah if you if you like a softer brow gel this is definitely not for you but i am a big fan i'm gonna prime my eyes now using my usual mac paint pot so what else did i want to address um i did i had mentioned earlier like a month ago that i was going to be doing some giveaways like hidden giveaways of some lipstick sets and I kind of failed at that for October. I'm very sorry about that. So what I'm gonna do instead is I think I'm gonna make that part of Vlogmas because I'm gonna have a video every day so there'll be more room for giveaways and I have a couple other additional beauty items to give away and I think I'm going to be doing another Sephora gift card giveaway. So look out for that in the, in the coming days. For Vlogmas, I will be doing a daily vlog every day from December 1st up until the 25th. So these daily vlogs will be kind of similar to last minute daily vlogs in Vlogist, just kind of me with my vlogging camera 
and my day and my life. I'm also gonna have a lot of holiday makeup tutorials. Last time I did vlogist, I didn't get as many tutorials, regular tutorials up on my channel as I would have liked. So I don't wanna do that this time around. I definitely wanna make sure that in addition to the vlogs for people who aren't interested in me or my life and just wanna see makeup tutorials, that there will be makeup tutorials. So this is the Viseart, this is the Viseart Theory palette, which I picked up from Sephora. It comes with six shades, three shimmer shades, and three matte shades. And you're supposed to be able to use these browns as brow shades, but I find that the lighter brown is a little too warm. And the dark brown is a pretty good brow shade, but it's a little dark sometimes. So that's my review so far of the palette. I've only used it once. Right now I'm setting my um, eyeshadow base with this top color right here. And it's turning out to be a little too dark, I think. And I prefer to set with something pretty bright and light. I'm gonna go into my NARS Translucent Crystal Setting Powder. So back to the Viseart palette, I'm just gonna kind of play around with these colors. I'm probably gonna do these mattes first and we'll see how that goes. Sorry if you can hear a lot of background noise. That's my AC that just went on. It was like 90 degrees yesterday, which is crazy. I mean, it's always hot in LA, but that's kind of like heat wave status, I think. So far, so good with the Viseart shadows. It's kind of, it seems a little harder to blend than usual, but it could just be me. Definitely a really pretty shade. It's super warm toned. That's why it didn't work so well as a brow color for me, but I really like the color as an eyeshadow. I'm still using that first lighter brown color, but as I add more layers to it, you can see it actually does get pretty dark when you build it up compared to the side where I've only used a light amount. Maybe I'll make this into kind of like a halo eye. That seems to be where we're going. So what I'm gonna do for that is basically focus the darker shades on both the inner corner right here and the outer corner and kind of try and leave this little bit in the center a little bit lighter. So now I'm moving to the darker color in the palette, the dark brown shade. And I'm using a smaller brush for this too. This is the, oh my God, the, the Hakuhodo J146. So again, to get that halo effect, I'm doing the darker color on the outer corner over here, and then also on the inner corner. And I think I'm gonna fill in the middle with one of the shimmery shades. And for the center of the lid, I think I'm gonna use this orangey shade in the middle. And I'm gonna use my finger for this. I tend to prefer using my finger for shimmery shades. I think you get more shimmer, shimmer payoff. Okay, and I think I'm gonna add on top of that, on top of this orange color, I'm gonna go with a layer of this lighter shimmer just right in the center. And I think I'm gonna go back in with my little brush and that dark brown just to kind of blend more. Create more of that halo shape. All right, so I really like that. I was going to do the brown liner with it. I'm not sure now though. I kind of like the way it is. I think I'm gonna skip the winged liner. I was looking through my Instagram photos and I haven't done a look without winged liner in far too long, so gotta switch it up. And for foundation, I picked up the Hourglass foundation stick in the shade Porcelain. Really excited to try these. I actually had swatched these on my hand at Sephora when they first came out. And I didn't like it for some reason. I thought that it was kind of dry, drying or like dry looking, but I decided to give it a second shot. And this time around, I think I like it. So far, I really like this. 
I have used it once already and I use my fingers to blend it in then. I sometimes prefer to use my fingers to blend cream products because it warms the product up and helps it spread a little more easily. But this is working fine with the Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to conceal over that using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair. This is my lightest concealer at the moment. I also like the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer but in vanilla, but it's not quite as brightening as this one is. Maybe I'll do an under eye bake. So this is not a super new product. This is the Sonia Kashuk Brightening Powder. And I'm going to use a small cosmetic sponge. There we go. And I can also use this to carve out a softer outer corner eyeshadow edge. And I'm gonna leave that bake on there while I apply eyeshadow to my lower lash line. And for this, I'm going back to my tiny little Viseart Theory palette. I think this smaller Viseart palette is a great idea if you are new to Viseart shadows and you don't want to invest in one of the larger palettes. They can be very expensive. But just so you know, the actual amount of shadow in each pan is larger than your average eyeshadow pan, so you're, it's not really that much more expensive per the weight of the product, if that makes sense. So yeah, for this I'm just using the lighter brown color. And then I'm gonna go follow up with the dark color on a smaller brush. Focus. And then I'd like to get that just a little bit closer to the lash line. And pretty much only on the outer corner. Moving right along to the face, I'm not gonna do my mascara yet because I think when I sweep off all this baking powder, baking powder, when I sweep off my bake, some of that's gonna go get on my eyelashes and if there was mascara there, that would not look good. But I do remember an old trick that if you put powder on your lashes before mascara, that adds volume, so. Another reason to do your mascara after you wipe off your bake. And for contour, I don't have any new bronzing contour powders, so I'm just gonna use my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. So what else to talk about? Um, oh yeah, so I guess as far as what else is coming up on the channel, I am going to be doing a Sephora VIB sale haul video. So I will talk about some of these products in greater detail then. I feel like that was super streaky, weird. What happened there? So I think because this is a cream foundation, I probably should have set with a light layer of powder before going in with my contour powder because it's kind of looking weird. I'm loving this Tarte blush wheel. I love the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes. I think I'm going to go with Maud. This one right here. Lovely. I don't know. I feel like things are looking weird with this bake. I think I'm ready to get rid of it. Sweep away, bake. Oh, my bake prevented my blush from blending up into this area properly, so <clears throat> kind of a baking fail. Okay, maybe I'll go over all of this with a bronzer. I think this is a job for my NARS Laguna bronzer. I'm gonna switch over to a somewhat larger fluffy brush. So I guess we're going a little crazy with the bronzer. Actually, you know what? It doesn't look too bad on camera. <laughs> Looks kind of crazy in person though. I enjoy bronzing down the neck. For highlighter, I'm going to try this Hourglass Incandescent Strobe Light. I haven't tried any of the Hourglass Strobe Lights yet. This came in the Sephora Favorites Glow Kit. Glow For It Kit. So it's just a little mini. And I'm going to apply that using my Smith 115 brush. Ooh, lovely. I love Hourglass products. Yeah, it's super soft. That's a really beautiful highlight, kind of like a pinky tone. Okay, and back to the eyes. For the inner corner highlight, I need something bright and light. Maybe I will try using the Algenis drops that I used to mix in my primer as an inner corner highlight. So I'm just gonna use this on my finger 
and voila, it's pretty. Yes, I quite like it. And now I'm going to line using my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Whiskey, my favorite warm brown liner. And I'm gonna do my tight line and water line. So I just noticed that my outer corners don't really match. This one looks pretty good and uniform. This one's got like a weird thing going on. So I'm just gonna go back in my Smith brush and even that out. For mascara, I'm using my Marc Jacobs Noir Mascara, Velvet Noir. And this actually is new because I've had to pick up a second tube. I wanna try out brown mascara. I don't think I've ever used brown mascara, but I think with a look like this, it might be really pretty. And for my lips, I'm going to use this Jouer Lip Cream in the shade Noisette. So far, I definitely like the stick foundation. It is very full coverage. And with all of the added bake and powder on top, my face is looking a little dry, so that can be easily remedied with a dousing of my Queen of Hungary mist from Amora Visca. Vixa. Amora Vixa. <laughs> I know I used these last time, but I've really been loving these Socialize Vixen lashes. Ugh, oh, these lashes are so easy to apply. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me today. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you've been up to. If you like this look, what's been on your mind. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.